Hello, and welcome to Family Tree Sagas. We are excited to share the true tales from our own diverse family tree and to remind you that every family tree has its own incredible sagas. These narratives, richly painted with meticulous genealogical research and AI-enhanced creativity, celebrate the legacies that forge our identities. Explore the enchanting Sicilian sagas. Uncover the depths of northern Mexico with the Allende Chronicles and venture into the heart of dispatches from the disputed Texas territories. Each story is a piece of a much larger puzzle, just like the stories in your own tree. So, let's set sail on this journey of discovery together, celebrating the sagas that connect us all. Sicilian Sagas Sicily to San Antonio Chapter 5 Valadolmo A Whisper of Light in Sicilian Shadows Beyond the rugged embrace of Alia and through the undulating Sicilian landscape, lies Valadolmo. Here, the narrative subtly shifts, as if carried by a gentler breeze. Cradled in the hills, this town stands as a silent testament to a history rich with the footprints of barons and the echoes of the ancient Sicani. Nestled in the rolling hills of central Sicily, Valadolmo is a quiet sanctuary, seemingly untouched by time. Its narrow cobblestone streets and aging buildings whisper of a history shaped by Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and Normans over the millennia. Valadolmo, from the Sicilian Vadalermu, the Valley of the Elm. This evocative name whispers of a land where elm trees once stood tall, lords of the valley, casting dappled shadows. Though few great elms remain, the valley still carries their legacy enduring like those ancient trees. Cobblestone streets wind through the town, flanked by aged buildings holding generations of stories. Though the world transforms, Valadolmo retains its spirit, adapted to the modern age yet shaped by its heritage. The elders still standing are silent guardians, they bear witness as the town grows. Beneath their boughs one connects to roots both natural and ancestral. The elm endures as symbol of this place through time's passage. Valadolmo's ties to its history and land stand firm, as trees weathering storms. From its cradle in the valley, the town has grown and adapted, its narrative one of resilience. The Valley of the Elm thrives in honor of its namesake trees, carrying forward a proud legacy. While modern recorded history begins in the middle of the 17th century with the establishment of Castel Normano in the Valle del Omo, the roots of this land stretch far deeper, woven into the broader currents and directions of Sicilian history that influenced the area long before its settlement. Valadolmo is cradled in a region that was once the land of the Sicani, along with the Elemi, considered the oldest inhabitants of Sicily. Their presence paints a picture of an ancient world where the first Greeks established colonies in eastern Sicily around 750 BC, but the island was already resonating with the life and culture of the Elemi, the Sicani, and the Siculi. The Sicani, in particular, hold a mysterious allure, their origins speculated to have been from the Iberian Peninsula. The evidence of human habitation in Sicily dates back to around 10,000 BC with distinct traces of Sicanian culture emerging from about 1600 BC. This deep-rooted history places Valadolmo and Alia in a landscape that has witnessed the ebb and flow of civilizations, cultures, and people. As one wanders through the streets of Valadolmo and Alia, it is as if one walks through the pages of history. The very air breathes stories of ancient inhabitants, of the Sicani who once called this land their home and of the myriad peoples who have since made their mark here. Every stone, every path, and every tree in this perhaps oldest part of Sicily seem to whisper tales of ages past, of civilizations risen and fallen, and of the enduring spirit of a land that has seen the dawn and twilight of eras. Valadolmo, in this broader context of Sicilian history and prehistory, is not just a town, it is a living museum, a guardian of memories and a testament to the resilience and continuity of human history. Here, the past is not a distant memory but a palpable presence, a silent guide through the labyrinth of time, offering insights and wisdom to those who seek to understand the depth and complexity of Sicily's cultural heritage. 
in the heart of Valladolmo, Sicily, stands their own Chiesa Madre, a beacon of history and faith akin to a steadfast oak in a verdant forest. Built in 1654 by Baron Antonio Sacala, the Chiesa Madre, though nearly four centuries old, was established only about 15 years after the one in neighboring Alia. Dedicated to the Immaculata Concezioni, this church of anime sante resembles a blossoming flower, robust and enduring through the ages. Its facade, grand and ornate, mirrors a blooming garden, with intricately carved doors welcoming the faithful like petals opening at dawn. Inside, stained glass windows scatter colorful light, reminiscent of sunlight through leafy canopies, breathing life and vibrancy into the sacred space. The altar, the heart of this floral haven, radiates purity and grace like the core of a blooming lily, creating an atmosphere of reverence. The Chiesa Madre through centuries has remained a perennial garden in Valladolmo's heart, a constant reminder of the town's faith, heritage, and the enduring beauty of their land. In its presence, one feels the essence of a rare and exquisite bloom, a living testament to the spirit of Valladolmo. Valladolmo wears its past like a vibrant tapestry. The streets echoing with the whispers of aristocratic ghosts hint at a prosperity that extends beyond mere appearances. It's a subtle richness, woven into the very fabric of the town, visible in the brighter smiles and lighter steps of its inhabitants. The town's essence is a complex interplay of cultures, a legacy of the Greeks, Carthaginians, Romans, and others. These ancient civilizations left fragments of their spirit, imbuing Valladolmo with a character of resilience and quiet dignity. Traces of arabesque arches, Byzantine mosaics, and the crumbling ruins of a Norman castle adorn the landscape. Below, groves of olive and almond trees stretch out under the Mediterranean sun, emerald in spring, blossoming in February. Feudal rule had woven a complex tapestry of life over centuries. The succession of barons, each with distinct governance approaches, gradually shifted the economic landscape from subsistence to modest prosperity. Artisanal crafts flourished alongside the famed Pomodoro Sicano agriculture, injecting financial stability into the community. However, this monetary gain was not without its costs. The relentless change in leadership, marked by personal ambitions and shifting allegiances, left the people in constant adjustment, their lives tethered to the whims of the ruling elite. As Valladolmo prospered, the simple, unified fabric of society began to fray under economic stratification. The May Day Fair, once a collective expression of joy, slowly transformed into a spectacle of cultural richness and economic disparity. This erosion of communal harmony was not lost on the townsfolk, who yearned for days when prosperity was measured not just in coin, but in the strength of neighborly bonds. Amidst this evolution, a deeper cost emerged, weighing heavily on Valladolmo's soul. The constant flux of rulers and the growing economic divide instilled a sense of impermanence and uncertainty. The strong values of community solidarity and mutual support began to wane. Yet, Valladolmo retains a character profoundly Sicilian. Earthy, intensely proud, with strands of Greek fatalism and African superstition woven into its fabric. It is a town nurtured by the island's rich cultural terroir, yielding a unique, heady vintage. Below the vibrant life of present-day Valladolmo lie the echoes of a time long gone, yet forever imprinted in the land's memory. Scholars have delved into these echoes revealing settlements that predate the annals of recorded history. The Sicanians, along with the Elamite Sicily's first inhabitants, made these hills their home, thriving through the Stone and Bronze Ages. They left behind more than just relics. They left a legacy that is intricately woven into the very essence of Valladolmo. Their presence, though ancient, is a continuous thread that runs through the valley's soil. A reminder of the town's deep-rooted connection to the earliest chapters of Sicilian history. Scholars confirmed settlements scattered across these fertile hills long before recorded history. 
Traces of Sicanian culture date back over three millennia, relics from Sicily's first inhabitants after wandering tribes discovered its lush terrain. The Sicanians thrived through stone and bronze ages, leaving remnants of their early civilization buried in layers beneath the valley's soil. Generations later, around 750 BC, Greek colonizers arrived on Sicily's eastern shores, captivated by the island's raw beauty and potential. But they entered a land already cultivated by peoples whose origins intertwine with myth. The Elimians, thought to have sailed from Troy itself, brought their language and customs from the Aegean. The Sicani ranged valleys and pastures, hunting game through date palms and carob trees while the Sicilian clans farmed and shepherded flocks across the central plains and hills that would one day cradle Valadolmo. The origins of the Sicani are veiled in mystery, with scholars speculating that they may have journeyed from the distant shores of the Iberian Peninsula. This enigmatic beginning lends an air of mystery to their presence in Sicily, suggesting a journey across seas and time to find a home in the island's rugged embrace. The evidence of their habitation traced back to around 10,000 BC, reveals a culture deeply connected to the land, their existence harmoniously intertwined with the rolling hills, fertile valleys, and the cerulean embrace of the surrounding sea. The distinct traces of Sicanian culture, dating from about 1600 BC, speak of a people adept in the arts of agriculture and pottery, their hands shaping the earth into forms both practical and beautiful. The legacy of the Sicani in regions like Valadolmo is not merely an artifact of history. It is a living presence, a continuing influence that can be felt in the town's rhythms, its traditions, and the enduring spirit of its people. Through centuries of invasion, assimilation, and conflict, remnants of these early tribes melted into Sicily's complex racial amalgam. New rulers reigned while peasants worked the land sowing seeds and seasons wisdom remembered through generations. Every upheaval left its archaeological mark for scholars to unearth from the island's fertile ground. So, through its whispered name now comes an echo of the first elm trees that took root here, drawing life from soil enriched by millennia. In Valadolmo's days of yore, linger traces of Sicily's original children, their glyphs on cavern walls tools that turned the virgin earth. This once unnamed vale remembers their tongues, their gods, their vanished villages nestled where olives, grapes and wheat now blanket the hills surrounding modern streets. All part of history's cycle, on this storied island crossroads at the center of the ancient world. In this backdrop moves a young girl, a fresh bloom in an ancient garden. Her life, reflecting Valadolmo's layered soul navigates with innate grace. She embodies the contrasts of this land, her family mirroring the town's character in homes where joy and sorrow coexist, where Sicilian struggles meet resilience born of necessity. Thank you so much for listening to this Family Tree Saga. We know your time is precious. Look for more at FamilyTreeSagas.com.